Dear friends, welcome back to Two Abstractive. In this video, we are going to be discussing on what a MAC address is. MAC address is termed as what? Media Access Control Address. It is a unique address assigned to every network device and cannot be altered or changed. Just like, uh, just as every building has its own unique address. It and can be altered, right? Even though we know definitely the government can change the address. A MAC address is unique. It is stuck to a device. Either your mobile phone, your laptop, your router, your modem, whatsoever. That's the unique address of that device. So it, it is useful in order to identify a device. Instead of saying, okay, go to this street and check for me the building with yellow color. No, just go to this street, ask for um, the number 5 or something like that you'll be able to recognize the device and the building easily likewise in mac address we use that as a unique address for a, what, a device so that if the device has to communicate they use the mac address to communicate instead of using a random name or server to communicate now the mac address in it of itself reside on layer 2 of the osi model when we talk about the osi model the osi model is uh, as we discussed in the previous video is the model which we use in standardizing communication across network it consists of seven layers right you can check a video on what um, it is and the mac layer reside in layer 2 this is the layer 2 it is called the data link layer so mac address reside on layer 2 of the osi model and it consists of what 48 bit or 6 bytes and it is sometimes called mac 48 or eui 48 now because it is 48 bit which means uh, it is 48 bit and consists of 6 bytes it simply means that it consists of what six boxes right you can think of it of six boxes. we'll be looking at um the block diagram it consists of six boxes, and each box has um eight bit each right because if you look from this you see that eight bits is got a one byte and definitely if we are to have 48 bit definitely 48 divided by eight will have six then we have six byte this is an example of a mac address a mac address seems like it it seems like x x x x x these x's are actually number but this is the way mac address is Let's look at the block diagram of a MAC address. As you can see, here's the block diagram of what a MAC address or a, break, or a breakdown. It consists of what? 6 byte or 48 bit, right? This is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, this is 6, right? Looking at the breakdown, we can see that it consists of what? 6 bytes, right? Each box, which is each byte, consists of what eight bits, right? Now, if you divide the six byte into two, the first three bytes, which is twenty-four bit, is designated by what OUI, that is organizational unique identifier. This is a kind of like organization that defines that, right? Why the last three is defined by like the manufacturer creating or producing that device, and it is called extension identifier okay so one thing here is that that we need to take note of is we the first byte which is 8 bits then we zoom out in this form you can see it like this we zoom out we have one two three four five six seven eight this is 8 bit now for you to identify if a mac address is unicast meaning like personal device or multicast is, a, is a, it is a part of a group of what or is a part of a network right or broadcast which means kind of to know if the address is a broadcast message unicast or what my multicast you use this two point to identify uh, most especially this one right this least significant bit because b7 is the most sig most significant bit right this least significant bit if it is actually zero it means unicast just like your computer your laptop you mostly be zero right if it's a multi-class organization they might have one because they have they have group of computers there right likewise this one if it is zero it is globally unique right if it is one it is locally what administered let's look at an example of what mac address a mac address can be unicast which is like your personal computer multicast can be group of computers 
then broadcast. This unicast, for you to know if this is actually unicast, as you can see, this is 4A, right? This 4A is in base 16. If we break this down, we know 4A in base 16. We can do some tricks like saying, okay, we'll split this up 8, 4, 2, 1, right? So this is kind of the number, right? So in order to get the binary digit, that's why we're actually doing this principle, right? Because this is 8 plus 4 plus 2, that will give you 14 plus 1, 15. So there's a 15 digit in it, right? It's from 0 to 15, right? So now if you look at this, in order to get the 4, we switch on only 4 with 1 and the rest becomes 0. You see 0 times, we can only have 4 times 1, 4. This is the 4. Like this, this one, A is 10, right? Since A is 10, we look for a number that can add up to 10. We have 8 and 2. Then the rest becomes 0. Then by writing this out, we see 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0. We can see the last digit is actually 0, right? That means unicast. If you look at this, which is multicast, you can see that the digit is 0, 0, 0, 0, which is shortened as 0, 1, right? And the last digit is 1. Since the last digit is 1, then definitely it is termed as what? Multicast. Likewise, broadcast. Broadcast is FFFFFF. It consists of 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, right? We just use it to kind of send ARP requests. For instance, if a device wants to communicate with another device and it doesn't know the MAC address, it just send the broker say, I'm looking for somebody like with kind of this description using an IP address and so by sending a broadcast message there's somebody that knows that uh, it is the one the device that says okay this seems like me you say oh here's my MAC address they send it back so this broadcast address is for every device right it's just like a general purpose address right now if you look look at something here you can see that some MAC address are color why some have dash some even have uh, for the Cisco we have um, just a single dot. What I want you to notice is that they how they say this dot dot mostly is being used by like Apple. If you check Apple product, most of their MAC addresses is in the form, right? If you check uh, Microsoft Provo, you found out that they are using this dash. Likewise, if you check for Cisco, right? Cisco mostly has um, a MAC address that seems like ordinary dots, kind of x x x x dot x x x x dot x x x x they're actually all the same right but what i wanted to understand is that they kind of look slightly different and you might you know make mistakes and think what's the meaning of this what's the meaning of this so once more you need to know that mark address is termed as what media access control and um it is a unique address of a device so thanks see you later